is now being recorded. Hi, everyone. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to log into a Google Chromebook that has been given to you uh, by your school district. Um, you can also use this for logging into any Chromebook. Um, so this is the way it's set up in my district. So you have two options when you log in. Um, after you turn on the power button, you're going to come to a screen some, that looks something like this. You, you have two options. Um, the first option would be to click the next button um, if you have a QR code, or if you don't have a QR code in, in your district, like in mine, you're going to click sign on, sign in with a different account. Okay. So I'm going to do the, this one here, which, so you click next. And what it does is now you're going to hold up a QR code in front of the camera. And once it registers the QR code, you might have to go really close or far back, um, then you will, it'll log you into the Chromebook automatically, okay? Um, if you do not have a QR code, which for our school, grades one through five do not have QR codes, uh, preschool, kindergarten, some classrooms might have QR codes, some don't. If you if you don't have a QR code, then you're gonna log in with your regular Google account information. Your classroom teacher can send you the details of your login information um, and how that all works. Obviously in this video, I'm not gonna post that, okay? So you're gonna type in just the username part. Uh, you don't have to put at Groton or at whatever school because that's already there. You can see it here. It says at GrottonK12.org. Um, if you're a teacher and you're trying to log into the Chromebook, um, as soon you just put in your regular email and the Groton part will disappear. Okay. Um, so as a student, you would put that information in and then go next. Now I'm going to turn off my screen for a second um, so that you can't see the login information that I'm putting in. Um, and then I'm going to show you, I just have to log in. So I'm putting in their username and then it asks, please put in your password, which again, your classroom teacher can email that information to you. And then it's going to go ahead and log you in. So now I can turn the screen back on. So it just takes a second to load, okay? So this is what it looks like after you log in um, for my district. If you're not in Groton, it might look a little different. Um, in my classroom, I put links on the bookmarks bar for my students to help them navigate. Um, once your child is in, if you wanna drag bookmarks to websites like your Google Classroom or Dreambox Lexia, you can drag them and drop them onto this bar. Okay, in Groton, everyone has a Groton K12.org bookmarks, but you might not have anything else. Okay, now I'm just going to show you the layout of this device and how, uh, and this will go true for any Chromebook. Our district only allows the Chromebook icon in the middle. Um, so when you click on the Chromebook icon, it opens up this window by default. Um, but if you go, and most of the work that we're doing in our district, you only need to be in Chrome here, and you only need to go to uh, the websites that your teacher sends, you, which are typically going to be Lexia, Dreambox, Clever, and Google Classroom, okay? So, but just to show you the other features, um, bottom left, you have this little O, that's the launch button. So your child can see other apps that are available to use that are linked to their account. So in our district, this is what's available to students to use. Um, again, different classrooms and different grade levels use different things. Um, or uh, real, these are just like the connections that are in Chrome. So your teacher, your classroom, your child's teacher may use some of these or they may not. For me in my classroom, we're only gonna use the, the Chrome button here. Okay, try and keep things simple. In the bottom right, if you need to connect to a network, you when you first log in, uh, it'll probably ask what network you want to join. So you would just join the network um, before you even log in. But if you have issues, this is where you check out your network. 
Um, and then you also have the volume and how bright the screen is, is in this bottom right corner. Um, and there's also like settings. Really, honestly, for us all around here, you don't have to worry about these because central office will take care of this in our district. But it's just good to know the battery's down in the bottom right, uh, your network connection, um, the volume is down in the bottom right. Also on the keyboard itself, I'm gonna see if I can show you. On the keyboard itself, you have uh, the gearbox gears here are to make it uh, brighter and lighter. And then you have your volume mute, lower the volume, increase the volume. Okay. Those are the really important ones. Um, there's also a left, right, front, go ahead of website, back website. Um, and then if you need to see multiple windows, this might be for older grades. If you click this, it'll show all the screens that are open. Um, so those are kind of the, everything else is just like a typical, uh, um, typical laptop that you would have, okay? Um, and now, the other part, so like from my district, we have these three tools here. Um, so it'll always open to Google, regular Google here. Um, so the kids can search for things. You'll have your um, your grid or your waffle. And these are your shortcuts to like Gmail, Google Drive, Google Classroom, Docs, Sheets, Slides, Calendar, Sites, Contacts that are there. Again, especially for the younger grades, you probably aren't going to use those. You're just going to go to Google Classroom or whatever platform your district is using. Okay. But there's a shortcut there. If you have an older student who's like, I just want to work on writing my paper right now, they could click on the waffles. Okay. The other two pages um, is number one, we have Clever. Clever for our district is where everything is going to be um, for what you need. So you'll be able to get into Google Drive there. And teachers have assigned uh, several different activities in there um, or websites that you can go to. So you just go to Clever. Once you're logged in, it'll you can click on any link and your child will automatically be logged in uh, with the exception of maybe one or two websites. So this just helps you go to one website and all the links are in one place. Okay. And then in our district, we also have the library. So you can, uh, obviously right now, can't really check out a book from our library, but um, you can go in here like, and the librarians have put links and resources in here as well that you can go around and click, okay? So this video again is just how to log into the Chromebook and what it looks like. Um, and in a separate video, I'm gonna show you um, how to navigate uh, like Google Classroom and other platforms that we're using on YouTube. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you have issues logging in, um, just reach out to your classroom teacher and they will be able to direct you or even help you uh, with whatever you need. Okay, I hope you, this is helpful. And we're all in this together and it's just take a deep breath. We'll all get through this.